Hello and welcome to our two-part side builder tutorial where we show you how to build this lovely single page yoga website from scratch with our drag and drop website builder. In this video, part one, we guide you through step-by-step -step on how to create a complete landing page from an existing site builder template. Then in part two, we show you how to create the online shop and do the search engine optimization. To get started, open our website builder, go to the travel template category and click select on the adventure tours template to start editing it. First, let's change the title. Click on it, then click edit text and enter your text. Then click done to save changes. Now let's update the email. Just double click the existing element and enter your email address. We can do the same thing for the heading. We don't need the text box below it, so let's remove it by selecting the pen icon and clicking remove. Now for the buttons. To change the text on buttons, you need to go over to this panel on the right and edit your text in the text box. You can change the button color down here by clicking this pen icon under background and dragging the color slider or pasting the hex value in this box. And when you're done, click the X. Okay, time to change the background image. To do that, click on the image, then click the pen icon under background, click the pen icon again under image slash video, select add new and choose an image, then click open. To make the website accessible to everyone, we need to publish it. You can do this by clicking the green publish button in the top right corner. Let's see the live website on our domain by opening a new browser tab and typing the address into the search bar. And there it is, live for everyone to see. Okay, let's move some elements around. Just drag and drop it where you'd like. Now let's clean up the section below. To delete an element, right click and click remove. Moving on to the cards. Card text also needs to be changed in the right hand panel. To change the background image, do the same as last time. You can decrease image opacity for better text visibility by dragging the opacity slider to the left or entering a number next to the percent sign. Let's do the same for the card on the right. Next, let's delete some unnecessary page sections by going to the page structure panel and holding control on your keyboard while selecting all of them. Right click and remove. Next up is the gallery. Switch the gallery type to thumbnail and remove existing images by clicking the X. Now add your own images. And finally, we can center line the contact section in the right hand panel. Now let's save our progress using the green drop down in the upper right hand corner. Website responsiveness. Our site builder automatically tries to adapt the site to four different screen sizes, wide, desktop, tablet, and phone. Notice how the mobile version differs the most. The menu changes to the hamburger style depending on your preferences. You may want to switch to a vertical layout on smaller screens to prevent element cropping. It can be done in the right hand panel in the layout section by ticking the appropriate box. You can choose to not display specific elements on smaller screens like these pictures. To do this in the right hand panel, scroll down to the visibility section and uncheck the boxes for screens where the element should not be displayed. As you can see, the element is not visible on the mobile version, but it is in the wide version. Customizing the header and footer. First, let's make our header bigger by clicking on it and going to the right hand panel under size and checking the box that says max value. Second, remove the title text and replace it with a logo. Right click the text and select remove to delete it. 
Now drag the picture element from the main toolbar. Select the frame and choose an image from your gallery or upload a new one. Now we'll replace the Pinterest icon with an Instagram one by selecting the pen icon and searching for it. To remove an icon, right click and select remove. Next, right click on the icon section and copy this layout to use in the footer. Now, right click in the footer and select paste to insert the icons. To fix the placement order, simply drag and drop in the page structure panel to change it. Remember to save your progress by selecting save draft from the green drop down in the top right hand corner. Add an about us section. To add an about us section, drag and drop the layout element from the main toolbar and choose the layout structure. To add content, click on the section and select an element. Let's add a title. Type your text, then select a heading format. Press done to save. Okay, now drag and drop another text element from the main toolbar and choose the text type. Now double click it to edit it. And now we can center it using the alignment icon in the text toolbar. Now we can give it some space by editing the margins in the right hand panel. Let's make it 20 pixels at the top and the bottom. Next, drag and drop the shape element from the main toolbar and pick the square. In the shape panel on the right, change its width to 100% to make sure it spans the whole layout. And just below it, we can also change its height. Let's make it 500 pixels. Now let's upload a video by clicking the pen icon under background then the pen again and choosing the video. Fantastic. Now let's preview the side to make sure it looks just as great on a phone screen. Add Google Maps. A Google Map can be a really helpful addition to your website. To add one, drag and drop the Maps element from the main toolbar. Select the Google Maps composition that you like. Now you need to enter the Google Maps API key into the API key field in the right hand panel. You can get the key from the Google Maps website. Use the address field to change the displayed location. You can set a more precise location by dragging the pin across the map. Below the API key are options to customize the look of your Google Map. You can change the displayed map type, change the theme, and even adjust the zoom level. And there are more settings here under options. To see what it looks like, we can use the preview button at the top of the page. Great. Add a form. First, let's remove this extra layout section by dragging and dropping the text element, right clicking on the empty layout and selecting remove. Second, drag and drop the form element onto the page, then pick the form composition that you like. Now, to customize the form, click on the image, then in the right hand panel, click on the pen icon under picture. Now, upload an image or pick one from the gallery. Next, double click the text section and replace the placeholder text. And let's align it to the center and click done. Click on the form fields and insert two emails into the right hand panel. First, the email that you want the form to be sent to. And second, the email that you want the form to be sent from. Click on edit form up here to edit the form fields. To reorder fields, just drag and drop them using the arrow symbol. Now let's click on the field type and change it using the drop down menu. In the name column, we can change the form field names. The placeholder section allows us to add text that we want to be displayed inside the fields to guide users on what's expected in each field. And lastly, check the boxes that are required to make these fields mandatory. Finally, let's change the button colors. In the right hand panel, scroll down to the button section. 
Under background, use the pen icon to change the background color of the button. And use the color option to change the text color. We can also change the alignment of the button to center, which looks best on mobile. Okay, time to see how the form looks on mobile screens. Ah, oh, beautiful. Add a sign up section. Start by dragging a layout onto the page and choosing the full span one. Then drop another layout element inside that one and select the two vertical section layout. Add a picture to the left section by clicking on it and selecting picture. Let's add some text and a button to the right section. First, add a title using the text editor. Change its style to an H2 heading and center it. Then add the body text. To give it some breathing room, let's add margins to our text. Select both text elements by holding control on the keyboard and clicking each one. Now we can go over to the right hand panel and check the box for use same values so that all the margins are equal. We'll use a margin of 20 pixels here. Time to add the button. As usual, simply drag and drop it from the main toolbar and select the style you like the most. As we did before, we need to customize the button text in the panel on the right. Down here, we can update the background color. And under border, we can set the border color of the button to match the background color. Over here in the hover tab, we can set which color the button will change to when a mouse hovers over it. And let's change the text color from blue to white. Now let's add an anchor to our form so that when a user clicks our sign up button, it'll jump down the page to our form. Select the form and in the right hand panel, scroll down to the advanced section. In the anchor name field, type in form. Go back up to the button we created, select it and in the right panel, set the URL destination to page on your website and choose the form anchor we just created from the drop-down list. Let's quickly do the same for the book now button at the top of our page. At last, it's time to publish our finished landing page by clicking the green publish button in the top right corner. And voila, now we have a lovely, simple, functional website in under 30 minutes. Now let's test our button and our form. Enter some test information and check your email inbox of the address that you configured the form with earlier. And there it is, the test information from our form. In part two of this tutorial, we walk you through setting up an online shop for this website. So be sure to check it out. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this valuable and we'll see you in part two.